This is Southeast Texas. I've never seen the water this deep in 39 years. One after the other, devastating floods have hit the area around Beaumont. There was Hurricane Harvey in 2017 and Tropical Storm Melda in 2019. Everybody had just got back into their homes. According to NOAA data, relative sea level rise in this area is up around 18 inches in the past 60 to 70 years. The Texas coast is sinking as the sea is rising, making these kinds of floods worse here in deep red oil country. People who experience these events are actually more inclined to recognize that climate change is happening. Houston-based professor Dr. Simone Howell has spent her life decoding how these events in the Arctic affect real people. And actually, I would argue that it is first and foremost a social issue. Come on, Josh. Is there anybody who's thinking about moving out because of this? Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not moving back yet. You're not? I'm not rebuilding. When did you make that decision? When this come in? Same thing. I ain't, I ain't rebuilding. It's going to be done. Brothers Josh and Jerome Reinders aren't the only Texans who told me they are now moving out after this flood. Now, of course, there are a ton of issues that caused this, but higher sea levels don't help. So in the U.S., there's a lot of people who will see this and say, that's something that I've heard is not actually happening. Climate change. Yes. Mm. Do hurricanes and tropical storms seem like they're getting stronger? They are. Yeah, they are. You know, I mean, I don't know why, but it's just Mother Nature. Can't do anything about it. It's a sure sign that we are in experiencing a different kind of climate. There are certainly mixed opinions here in Texas. So you're staying? Yes, sir. You won't go? I will not. Despite other people leaving? Yeah. Yet after this, neighborhood discussions are changing. The amount of water we're getting dropped on us in the amount of time, there's no drainage system that actually can handle that. So you're basically evacuating and going somewhere to higher land. Exactly. You're one of millions who might make that choice. Exactly. By 2050, it could be 25 million people displaced having to leave their homes worldwide. That's an estimate from the International Organization for Migration. On the high end, they say it could be one and a half billion people. That's also something that people don't think about when they think about sea level rise. People have to go somewhere, they have to move somewhere. As for sea level rise, the latest 2019 report from the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warns global sea levels could climb by more than three feet by 2100. Even one foot of sea level rise would have devastating consequences for many people in the United States living near the seashore. As these dramatic weather events continue and as people start to experience sea level rise, for example, or extreme heat, we will also start to see more political consensus, more social consensus. I don't want to leave my parents, but I can't afford to keep going through this. 